sort of just pressing it on Jimmy. Have you done any security? Uh, have you even considered reading the security app? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. The forum posts. Yes. Cool. We're going to go through today just some basics. So if you don't understand what we're all talking about, what we're talking about scripting, all the rest of it, we're going to go through and just give you a brief introduction. It's not going to tell you how to make every single site content secure. We don't have time. Okay? Forums is the place for that. There are plenty of us in there. We'll give you introduction to some of the guys that are involved and we we'll introduce to some of the people you don't want to meet. <laughs> okay, first of all, announcements. 1015's come out. 15 has all the fixes for all the security hacks that you've been hearing about recently. Every big bug is all about forums. They're done, they're working, they're fine. They're in at RC4. The guys have got them in production. 1014 RC1 has also had the fixes backported. So you shouldn't have any concerns. Upgrade today. Don't wait. You will also notice on Duplicode we've taken down all the old revisions. Because a lot of them had exports capable. There was stuff there that was way down level and people were still installing. So you can't get old revisions anymore. So if you do have sites that you need to repair, you need to get the revisions on your own local machines. Because we'll run out. Understand? You guys happy with that? We don't want to see you getting hacked. Okay, next thing, Joomla Tool Suite. Who's ever heard of that? God. <laughs> <laughs> right, this came about uh, a good 18 months ago now, when we did have a few problems with the 1.0 uh, series, and there were lots of exploits around, plus installation problems, which then gave you even more problems. So we've come up with the Joomla Tool Suite tool. The idea of this is that it'll go through and do pre-testing on your servers. It will tell you if we, have, if we are expecting problems, whether Joomla will install with full functionality or you may be limiting with some of the functionality. It will do permissions check-in. It will do configuration auditing. A very large number of different things. It's been reinvented right now, Joomla Tool Suite 2, so you can get the original version of the Joomla code site. And Joomla, the version 2 will be out in about uh, maybe three, four weeks' time for the first week of testing. So please do download it, do install it. It comes as a component for 1.0, for 1.5. It comes as two standalone tools. One's a single script, which will do pre-testing. One is a post-testing standalone script, which will also do some pre-testing as well. Please try and make use of it. Okay, the guys you're going to be dealing with, no matter what Brad says about what we do with servers and that we lock him down and we give him a hard time, up in the forum you've got Pete, Pat Moore, Aliski, Ron and myself. We're generally the guys that are going to be tripping in and out. Most of the forums, generally, we're there 24 by 7. There's at least one of us around. Please do come and ask your questions. We're not as bad as Brad makes us out to be. We're quite friendly. We don't carry guns, we don't beat you up. We do have a large amount of pre-written, try this guys, posts. Because we get a lot of the same questions a lot of the time, just many different guises. So generally we've got overnight responses that will suit most of your requirements straight away. If it doesn't, then post back. Don't just get angry with us because you read this in another post already. Please go read the security admin guide. They print copies of it if you need to. There is good stuff there. It's written by the devs a lot. These guys know their code. They know the best ways to secure it. Make sense? Okay, on top of that. Regardless of what we do and what we suggest to you, what your host may suggest to you, or what you do to yourselves, no server is 100% secure. It will happen. Don't just think if, plan for it today. If you don't plan for it today and you're a, a commercial entity with 20, 30 customers that will get known at the same time, they're going to be really upset with you. Trying to get out of that and trying to explain to them what happened is a bunch of load harder than saying, we plan for it, guys, we've got backups, we'll recover them. Operation, a rocket, CDP. Great, you can recover a hack and an exploit very, very quickly these days. You've got to plan ahead. Don't just think, think, oh, look, I don't you know, worry about when it happens. You've got 20 sites, it's going to happen 20 times. Okay? I'm, I'm not rushing here, ask questions if you want, but I don't want to make Leslie too late here. <laughs> So we're going to do some little introductions. You may not, you may have heard about a lot of these guys, but you've probably not known too much about them. And everybody comes and says, my site's been hacked. That's the last on the list that you need to worry about, folks. Way down the list. It's 
screw kidneys are the ones that you've got to care about because they're the ones that are a little pain in the arm, screw up the sites, upset your customers for swear words, horrible pictures, and violent people for different things on your sites. The hackers won't tell you, you won't be nervous they've been there. You can wait too long. So, then she just first put them on my hatch. She's a script kidney. And his parents think that she's sitting at home, playing around on the internet, talking to her best mate down the road on Skype. While she's sitting there downloading scripts, taking them a little bit maybe, learning from a mate from Skype, how to do facial sites, how to put really nasty pictures on the front. So that we then get 20 posts saying, I got hacked last night. Oh, did you check your commissions? Because most of the reasons that these kids get in is because your commissions are set wide open. Haven't gone and done the really basic stuff. All your servers are giving you a problem and they don't allow you to. You have to set them to set them for uploads. This is not the best configuration for a server. So you have to accept it's going to happen if you're going to go to those sort of hosts and you're going to have that sort of environment to work with. There's a limit to what we can do for you. Okay, Angie's just going to play around with promote scripts. She's in it just for kicks. She's out there, she gets points up on all these wonderful sites that you hear about, script kitty sites. But in the leak table, how many sites can I get nailed in 24 hours? It's all about free riding with somebody else. They get there, and I said, I've got to make a call to Angie, you've got Busty doing this stuff. And she sat there for six weeks with the top spot on one of our favourite script kitty sites, and then the police came to knocked on the door. And she defaced well over 1,500 sites in less than two weeks all with two scripts. How did it happen? Because everybody had their images directory set to set to set to set and had to buy them to turn it on and on their servers. That was simple. She was bored with the energy she got caught. Okay, Swampy's our next one. These guys don't go by their names. They're going to come up with some sorts of really wonderful funky characters all over the place. These guys think they're really cool. They're a bunch of crackers, but these are the guys that are going to put phishing stuff up in their sites. They're going to put IRC bots out there. They're going to get a little bit smarter than just their face in your website. They're going to go and build directories for the hidden. Put an IRC bot up there and steal the resources from you. So your bandwidth goes through the roof, and you pay 200 bucks a month extra in your overnight. Your host then shuts your sites down. And by the way, that's all 20 of your sites ago, just because one of them got know because you're on a shared hosting account. So now your customers are really upset because you can't even get in to fix it. And you're going to post in the forums. My site got hacked. What are you going to do about it, Jim? There's not much you can do about it, guys. You got hit by somebody hard because you didn't do the follow the basics again. So these guys, they've got a slightly different motivation than Ange. Ange goes out just for fun and she just wants to get all these nice top points. This guy goes out to actually steal resources, potentially make money from you. If you're talking e-commerce, we had the uh, earlier freeway stuff. If you don't look after that site properly, what is he going to steal resource-wise from you? Stuff the bandwidth, he's going for the credit cards. He's going for the customer names, phone numbers. He's going to order $2,000 worth of stuff on you. Then ship it down to his grandma. Now collect it and wonder why when the police turn up, they can't do anything about it. Because grandma knows nothing about it. This is your sites, this is your customers. This is a large amount of money as well as your Warren Kudos going down the pants. What these sort of guys are going to your site. We wonder why when you go to the forums, we have a lot of free free posts. And we just go up and say, hey, you've done all of this. If you have it, you really can't come up at us and not expect too much from us, guys. We tell you what the basics are. Then you can come back in and tell them that didn't work. We'll spend all the time you have to with you. But until you've done the basics, you really can't expect us to be able to see next with over 2,000 pups coming. And it's mostly for the same sort of stuff. It's those first two groups. The crackers and script kitties. And I guarantee you, script kitties are 75% of the kids. And how many of you look through your logs and see the absolute URL being posted at the end of a, um, a your website URL? And they're trying to go for a register by the books here and then open scripts on it. And they're going to tear below an IRC box. It's going to go through and keep going back with that. Sir, can you speak up a little bit more? Sorry, Harvey. <coughs> okay, so these guys generally, look, the hackers don't go much on them. The real guys think that they're just playing games. These guys aren't serious because they're doing damage. There are bad hackers out there, don't get me wrong, but these are the guys that really are in it just to 
can make money out of it. They're not in it for the technology, they're not in it for any other reason. So these are the ones you've got to be more careful of, but these are only maybe 15% of your hits. <coughs> of all the sites we look at, honestly, we get a thousand calls come in and there's probably two or three are true hackers or crackers on the sites. The rest are all the, the dumb bunny uh, small piece and the screw kids. <coughs> Then you get to the serious guys, you know, so these guys do use their own names. They'll come on IM with you as well. They'll be sitting there talking to you. They'll pump you for information about the site. Who goes into the, the common chat rooms? Heaven forbid who goes into the coffee server or anything like that these days. And you've got to be sitting there saying, oh, I just built this wonderful new site. And you've got to post it out to a public chat. But to one people are going to play with it, and one of them is going to be this guy. Which one of these is whether your site is going to get known or not? Whether it's Tony or whether it's Jack. Jack's a nice guy. He's going to come up and tell you, look, I found a way in, and this is how I did it. Well, Tony's going to find a way in, and then he's going to tell a couple of his mates. They're now going to work out how to exploit the complete server, and then they're going to go and start hunting around through the guy's network and exploit the 50 other servers. And this is when the likes of Google then ban you and like this way up and don't going to talk to you again. Because you are now hosting a very large amount of e-commerce hacks. You have large, you have your to bandwidth from other people. So you've got to be very, very careful with this stuff. And this is just a lead on from the script kiddies. You see, the script kiddies get in and the cracker stuff to learn about. They get serious about it if you don't fix it. And then the wrong guys on this team start working out that they can actually get to some else's stuff. Really good. So who's your biggest problem? The script kiddies. Who's your biggest problem? Have a guess. Did anybody hear the answer? Who's not part of, who's not part of the, today's event? Anybody else? Who's your biggest problem out there, guys? You are. Who's that? Deep voice. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, 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 I'll never make the cricket team. <laughs> hey, the kids get bored. Sit there, talk to Andy. This is a direct quote from a kid, I know. <laughs> it's not cool. It's not the whole game. There's nothing else going on. So she said, wrote a lot of scripts, downloaded a lot of stuff, and went round the face. And then got now by the way. She's now the deepest trouble possible. Or has been for quite a while. The statistics, I don't have Australian ones, unfortunately. They don't publish them. But the US ones, based on government and education sites and commercial sites, is that they were going through 650 new Facebooks. That's huge. That's just the ones that get reported. That's not you guys coming on the forum and saying to us, oh, how do I fix this? Uh, fix your index PXP, to be, fix your permissions, and you don't tell anybody else about it. This is the ones that get published publicly in the house. Well, the ones that do get indexed, unfortunately, and everybody finds in a hurry and gets the news tomorrow night. Yeah? That's a huge number, because that's probably only 10, 15, 20% of what's really going on out there on a the day basis. So I know I'm not quite as exciting a discussion as Sam's had, and you're going to get from Leslie, but this stuff is important the stuff you need to think about. You need to take the documentation seriously. Okay, what gets done about this? Well, from Jim's perspective, we've got security orders and tools. A number of tools that were donated by commercial entities to the project to allow us to go through SQL injection testing, code testing, We've been doing some unit testing recently, the devs have been setting that up. On top of that, we've then got the Security Task Force, and if something serious does come out, there's an email address up on the dev site. You can mail direct with this is where the serious one acts and the serious problem will get sent to. Not your everyday exports of your Facebook feed. On top of that, Google may not realise that they do this, but they've got some great progress. Primarily, the guys are after uploading the resources. They want to put IRC box up there. They want FTP anonymous servers. They want to be able to run scripts that will steal from somebody else, even if it's not your resources. The serious stuff is going to be they're going to be going for credit cards. They're going to be putting viruses and trojans up there. So now you become an accomplice without knowing it. Because you're now going to spread this stuff to everybody else that comes to your websites as well. And again, you're going to get kicked by Google and kicked out rankings because they're going to blacklist you. Your site will not get visited again in a hurry. So, sort of 
stuff, defacements is the basic stuff the script kit is going to do. They learn across that script kit. In, you can download this presentation, I'm not quite sure where from yet, we'll make sure it's available when everyone is sold. Um, um, I think I've done this off the um, slideshow, I'll, put, I'll get it put up there. We've got descriptions of what all of these are in the notes in the presentation. So just, just describe to you what to be looking for, what to expect. The hex CTV header injections and the cross-site forgery is a little bit harder to do. The kids don't know how to do that unless they find a script that's already been written by somebody. So this is where it gets a bit more serious if they can get in with this stuff. This is when you're going to start getting content from other sites being downloaded to yours. And then SQL injections and stack by overflows. These guys now are starting to get into your servers. If the servers aren't well configured, they're going to get across from your sites to other sites. They're going to get into the base server. As soon as they get to the base server, they've got the rest of the network effectively open to you. Unless your host uses per server um, security in some way, firewall or something. Even if it's sites, you can go and check all the security systems, you can go and check all the reports, you can run it against all your applications, it will come back and give you a list of what you know now there will be fixed. On top of that, you've got the security forums and security announcements. Common problems, permissions. First thing, second thing, permissions. Third thing, permissions. Fourth thing, ID emulation and register globals in PHP. We have a huge amount of posts and up on the FAQ site. Heaps of information about these guys. On top of that, strong passwords, look, they're not going to be uncrackable, but if you use a reasonable nine character strong password, which groups of three and three, anything that comes in groups of three and a password is memorable. It can still be difficult, but it's memorable to you if you repeat it a few times and write it down a few times. Anything that comes in groups of three is a three, two, and three. So try and think of your passwords in that way. Don't use obvious dictionary words. Don't use your car registration, your kid's name, your kid's birthdays. This is stuff you talk to people about when I am. They will get to hear about it, some will never want to get serious about it. And make sure you change the passwords. Changing the privilege user password. There is a script up in the Joomla website. You need to go through the forum for it. I haven't got the URL. And it will automatically change the admin password based on its cron job. You set the time frames and choose how many letters you want. And it will now email it out to you as well. Or if you can run it with the command line, it will output it to the console. And it will regularly change the password for you. On top of that, if you use HD password, you then have to log in to be able to log in, and then the password changes every so often on the admin site. If nothing else, it's making it very difficult for everybody. Yes, guys. Did you say email? Yes, and yes, it's, yes, and it's PGP encrypted if you choose to turn it off. You know. Security camera. Registered globals. There's only reason to have it on. Nothing more. No, are there any legacy sites that would be affected or something like that? Because I want to possibly at the server level. Possibly. Uh, if, you're, if you have extensions that do require ID emulation, the rest of the focus turn on, I don't even know of any now. Any place that leaves it on, on, on a server level is yeah. uh, turn on per If they're on, uh, start talking to your host. Yeah, start talking to your host. If they're on, you're probably still looking at it before, or they've essentially done it for back of compatibility. Unfortunately, some stuff like OS comments and that it still doesn't require it. Sorry. Uh, can you explain to me how it's not security risk to have FTP users? Um, in itself, it's not. What was the question? Uh, how come it's not a security risk to have password details, especially FTP password details, in the config file? In itself, it's not. What makes it insecure is whether you've got 777 or you've got other permissions on the server, which shouldn't be there in the first place. Is in the security briefing forum post, it used yep. to say, take another thing outside the public Yep. Yeah, it was another step to take. Look, this is like driving down the road and if you've got side airbags, front airbags, airbags on your bum. You know, there's a limit to how much you can do to secure anything. And there's plenty of options on how to secure it. Unfortunately, an MPP password in a file it can be considered to be insecure, but only if your server is that wide open. Yeah. Okay, make sure.
sure you go to the right places to find all the information. Again, this is all this will be all available up, uh, up on the slideshow. And the diagnostic tools are all available in the extension. There are several other extensions, but they're not ones that I, I'm used to using. <laughs> Okay, before you do post, please make sure you do do some research, guys. Tell us what's going on, not just, I got packed help. <laughs> that really does help us to help you in any way. And you'd be surprised at how many we get of that. Make sure that you do give a brief and to the point description. And don't dump terabytes of logs in there because we ain't going to look at it. We don't have the time to go hunting through megabytes and megabytes of logs, guys. We need two or three line entries that you feel that have been in your problem. You need to go do some research on your side. Then we'll be more than happy to help, but we just can't spend four weeks looking at one person's problem. So uh, just a, a comment. I, I find it a lot easier because of the way the search results are returned, that if you can actually make the subject relevant to the question rather than also having a please help and then having all the detail in the post itself. Oh, yes. Yeah. The subject is essential, guys. And I'm sorry, and I'm going to admit to this, and I know some of the other guys will, if I say I got packed health or urgent, I'm sorry, you can get to the bottom of the list. Because if someone's got a type in there that makes sense to me, and I can see there isn't urgency in the title, then I'll go look at that straight away. But you just tell me it's urgent, and then I go in there and find out if my IT innovation is turned on, or 777 permissions, that is not urgent to me, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Whereas if it's something that says, I really have got a problem here that needs to be looked at, then I will go look at it very, very quickly. Because it could be a cross-site script, it could be something very serious that's going to affect me and all not just one of you that's going to finish the one that says so. So, like it, I love it, guys, I'm fortunately I'm a little bit arrogant in that way. Your, your subjects have got to help me.
So we really just kind of need that sort of information. Okay, cool. Any quick questions? I'm around, come and see me afterwards. Otherwise, everybody's done. But is there something in Joomla and stuff that you can see in where you can... Um, Sorry, can you speak up please so everybody can hear that? Yeah, is there a function in Joomla where you can have it uh, resettled the permissions for you directly? Um, you can set permissions so that as you do things, you will attempt to apply those permissions to them, like uploads and stuff like that. Right. But again, it's, it's quite present on the post configuration as to whether that's going to work. And ownership does not get fixed, which yeah. is one of the issues. And potentially it's just going to blow your site up. And if your host is set not to allow certain permissions and you try and configure them, we'll attempt to set them and serve all that stuff and the server one way to choose them. And it will blow your site up and you'll be able to get into it without managing your set permissions. Right. So be very careful of using that option unless you really feel there's a, there's a definite use. Yes, sir. The magic quotes is whether we're going to quote around input. So we probably like to quote around input because then it helps us sanitize. So if someone's coming in and they're setting their URL to you, we're going to quote it. So we would like it to be quoted. So yes, it's, it's not a massive security fix, but it persists in security. It also helps with other stuff. So you, you've got the, yes, it's got to be it's set off instead of on. You would like it turned on, so it quotes as input. Plus it helps with the, the different kind of nice numbers. A number of things. There's no reason to have this. Yes. So,